welcome back to the channel. Here are some amazing all-terrain vehicles you must see. Let's get right into it. I don't see why we can't employ innovative off-road technology to help people with disabilities. Hexhog ATV is the way to go. Key to the design of the British created vehicle is a 6x6 layout. Because of this, the seat can take on steep hills with ease, avoid becoming bogged down in mud, and even cross over into shallow bodies of water. With all the upgrades, the car now weighs about 617 pounds and can reach speeds of around 9.3 miles per hour. A programmable joystick is used for the controls. There's an electric motor powering the ACV, and the battery only needs two hours to fully charge. Finally, the electric chair may be purchased for as little as $30,000. Next is another British creation, the six-wheeled Flying Huntsman truck built on the Land Rover Defender. It's now up for sale for $700,000. So, what do you gain for that kind of money? First of all, the car, of course. Features all-wheel drive thanks to the extra axle. Moreover, the IS3 motor, which has 378 cubic inches and 430 horsepower, was selected as the vehicle's beating heart. Not only that, but the car also has an automated transmission with six speeds. To top that, the Flying Huntsman has been upgraded with new bumpers, a front grille, and 18-inch wheels. Some interior highlights include leather seats, an aluminum pedal set, and a customized steering wheel. You can relax even more in the driver's seat owing to the car's heated front seats, temperature controls, and sound system. What drives at a top speed of 37 miles an hour, 28 miles on a single charge, and weighs 89 pounds? It's the Hollyburn P5 scooter, of course. The specialists from the American company Works Electric produced this standing electric car. To show off its two-wheeled masterpiece, here are its most exciting qualities. With its lightweight, aircraft-grade aluminum construction and IP66 protection, the Magna Shell SD4 chassis can be driven in any weather conditions, including rain and snow. This is thanks to its compact folding design, the Z-Stack. Now, the scooter is easy to transport and store. You can store it at home or in the workplace. Plus, fast charging only takes roughly 2.5 hours, while a standard charger takes about 5. It'll cost you $6,500 to purchase the scooter. Check out this outlandish vehicle made by the Jeep team called the Jeep Bob Concept. This was one of the seven featured vehicles by the Jeep team during the Easter Jeep Safari Festival, which celebrates off-road vehicles. It's a Rubicon pickup truck based on the Jeep Gladiator with a shorter wheelbase. The 40-inch wheels are almost at the car's outside edges. The vehicle's ground clearance was raised by 3 inches, its roof was swapped out for a canvas one, and its doors were removed. Additionally, a 183 cubic inch V6 turbo diesel powers the vehicle. This version won't be made, which is too bad because we're sure that some individuals would love to buy this amazing Jeep. Well, Chevrolet came to play as well, and they did not disappoint. This automobile powerhouse debuted its new SUV beast at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. What the engineers did was start with a Chevy Silverado and added racing features and a military look to create this beauty. The 378 cubic inch Chevrolet Performance LT4 gives up to 660 horsepower. With the suspension's extensive revamp, the vehicle now has a whopping 13.6 inches of ground clearance, 12 inches of front travel, and 15 and a half inches of rear travel. Because of this, it was able to produce outstanding results. People inside the vehicle are secured in place by four-point harnesses in Recaro racing seats. What a beauty, right? Sit tight, we're going to Chile. Take a look at this tour bus that was commissioned by a local company. Italian engineers came up with the concept for a vehicle based on a Tatra 8x8 truck that, with some changes, could carry 34 people. This upgrade was for particular reasons, such as the vehicle will reach a height of almost 19,000 feet above sea level as part of the tour. Moreover, the cabin is provided with extra oxygen to lessen the likelihood of altitude sickness. An automated gearbox and a 460 horsepower PAC CAR turbo diesel engine insanely powers the bus. The first, second and fourth axle wheels contribute to steering for enhanced off-road control. 
The duration of the tool is roughly 5.5 hours, costing about $70 per user. If you're a fan of the famous Atlas ATV, then here's a good one for you. A new edition of the previous year's model is now available, having all the same perks as before. This one, the off-road vehicle, may be quickly adjusted to the client's needs and can travel on water as well as through mud and snow. On land, it can go 37 miles per hour, but it can only travel 4 miles per hour in the water. As for how much weight the ATV can carry, it's 307 kilograms. Despite having an increased curb weight of 1,543 pounds, the vehicle's interior can comfortably seat up to 12 passengers and can be modified to fit a stretcher. The Atlas ATV is so easy to operate that anybody who has driven a car before can drive this vehicle. Coming up next is the vehicle which fears no place, as the manufacturers claim. The Segway Villain SX10 is a combination of comfort in harsh environments and exquisite design. This beast is perfect for both entertainment and work activities. Work hard, play hard, I dare say. This buggy features a 105 horsepower engine, a strong chromoly frame, and a completely adjustable chassis. On top of that, standard features include a digital dashboard, bright LED lighting, electric power steering, and ergonomic seats. Also included in the package is a Segway Power Sports app for remote control and customization of the buggy settings. There are enough for 12 gallons of gas in the tank, and you can toggle between the two and four-wheel drive, which will come in useful on rough terrain. What we got right now is the ATV Storm, which is a homemade, all-terrain vehicle. What people really like about it is how quick the ATV is both on land and in the water. At the moment, it has passed several tests with flying colors. We have identified the following features. A front end loader's axles, a 1500 by 500 low pressure tire set, and a Sobol vehicle's 116 cubic inch turbo diesel engine. Here is a unique idea that a 3D artist from Russia sent to the online portfolio site Behance. Well, I'd like to know your thoughts on the potential uses of this vehicle. First off, it's named Cage, and it gives the driver options of traveling along rails or on wheels. The driving posture is similar to F1 vehicles, while the sleek exterior design is strikingly similar to high-end sports cars. The vehicle can go both on paved and unpaved roads. However, due to the lack of a windshield, you need to always wear a helmet. On to our next entry as a production of the Italian company GFG Style. The goal was to create a high-powered electric sports car with big ground clearance. The team boasts that you can go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 3.8 seconds. Depending on the suspension setting, the vehicle has a ground clearance of 5.5, 7.5 or 10.3 inches. The car that came out of this is the GFG style Kangaroo, because it can hop from one type of terrain to another, just like a kangaroo. This vehicle is quite impressive with a carbon fiber shell, 22 inch wheels, and combined 483 horsepower from its two engines. Additionally, there are three screens on the control panel. The primary one controls the car's basic operations, the second acts as a rear view mirror, and the third provides access to the car's media and navigation systems. Here's another ATV hailing from Russia. This is the MTLBU model, which creators claim is the most in-demand model of an off-road vehicle by companies. Well, to no surprise, it can easily carry passengers and cargo over any conditions such as snow and even water. The YMZ238BL1 engine, producing 310 horsepower, is the core of this vehicle. The maximum speed it can get on the water is 4 miles per hour. This ATV has a payload capacity of 9,921 pounds and can pull a trailer weighing up to 14,330 pounds. The cabin can accommodate 12 people, but the cockpit can only fit 8. This vehicle is available for purchase in several specifications, both as is and after being decommissioned and updated to client specifications. You may get its starting price of $75,450. Finally, we have the Leica Tract off-road vehicles. For this video, we're featuring the Leica Tiger. The creators claim these are great for hunting, fishing, or just letting off steam. Several variants of this vehicle are produced by Russian factories. 
The first thing that drew our attention was the ATV's roof. The material is made of high-density polyethylene. Moreover, in the event of a rollover, there's an option where passengers may even be safely evacuated. The idea is brilliant. This type has a capacity for four people and weighs in at about 4,409 pounds. Its speed can go for 37 miles per hour. Also, the vehicle can be driven in snow, mud and marshy areas and is stable when floating in the water. However, many viewers expressed different opinions about this. Although many praise the intriguing layout, many question if it'll really be useful. What are your thoughts on this? That's the end of this video. These all-terrain vehicles are certainly to look out for. So, if you enjoyed it, hit like and subscribe for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.